happy with the point? Eh, uh, I so so. I mean, we obviously go into every game wanting to win it, but you know, well aware of what a good side Wraith Rovers are. Um, you know, and I thought we defended really, really well all day. Um, you know, we've the likes of Spence, Buchanan, Vaughan. They've got thirty odd league goals between them. So. You know, we did make a point of, uh, you know, if we marshal them properly, then we'll give ourselves an opportunity. So, you know, defensively, I thought we were excellent as a group. You know, right from big Chris Retton, right back, um, Neil made a good save as well, first half from the header. But going forward, I think we just lacked a wee bit of creativity. You know, things weren't just quite coming off, um, picking the wrong, you know, the wrong pass at the wrong time. Just decision making and sharpness up in that area of the pitch wasn't quite there, but. At the same time, still plenty of positives. You know, we had Jordan Kirkpatrick makes the keeper make a good save first half. Um, we Kev's got a, a good chance. Probably just comes a little bit too quick at him at the end there for the header just to nick it. But overall, I think the draw was probably fair. Um, you know, I don't remember Neil or their goalkeeper having too many saves to make. So uh, over the piece of the match, probably a fair result. But um, you know, we're never happy with a draw. Mm -hmm. Pleased that you, you mentioned their, their forward players, you pleased the way that you did marshal them because I don't remember that any of them having a, a clear cut chance really. No, absolutely, and I said that after the game, you know, to the lads. I mean, like I said, we did make a point about it on Thursday night and we spoke again uh, before the game. You know, we know Greg Spence well anyway, um, and we know the qualities that he possesses in the box, and he's that type of boy where he doesn't look interested in the game and then all of a sudden he just comes alive in the box. So I thought Jamie and Andy were excellent against Buchanan and Spence today, and Vaughan obviously is a big player for them as well. So. Um, but no, right across the board, you know, the back four I thought were brilliant. Gary Fleming in the middle of the park alongside Stevie Hetherington, but Gaz in particular I thought he was excellent. You know, he covered every blade of grass out there today and made some important tackles and blocks and uh, and stopped some really you know good counter attacks in our favour. So if we could just uh, take the positives from the defensive side of things going forward in the in the coming weeks and then just sharpen up a little bit at the top end, then we'll be absolutely fine. You're obviously pushing for a, a playoff place. You're not too far behind. It's uh, that's, that's, I suppose that's the, that's the aim for you say at the moment. Yeah, I mean we're you know the gap between ourselves and and, and Wraith and Air at the moment is quite big, and we would probably need uh, you know those two to have a, a complete collapse. But we, you know, we certainly won't throw the towel in. We've got a couple of games in hand, um, and we know if we win them, albeit not easy ones uh, against Airdrie and our both. But you know if we win them, then I think it you know it's eight or nine points between us and, and then the teams above us. So. Well, we've got to keep going. We've just got to focus on, you know, our own job in hand. Um, you know, and not concentrate too much on the table at this moment in time. Strand are on a great run, um, and you know they, they seem to just be grinding out results at the moment. So it's going to go right to the wire. We know that. And listen, we were in we were in this position last year. We know uh, nothing is decided in January. So we'll just uh, we'll focus on what we're doing um, and, and just try and maintain the high standards that we've shown up to now. How important is it to carry the defensive performance from today into next week's difficult game down at Air? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, again, you're you're coming into a game against Derry United, who, you know, the forward line is is frightening, you know, at the moment, um, and they just seem to score goals for fun at times. So, the likes of Moffat, Shankland, uh, Moore, again, are going to need to be marshalled the exact same way they handled Buchanan, Spence, and Vaughan today, and hopefully at the other end of the pitch, we'll we'll get the break of the ball a little bit better than we did today, but. A really good game to look forward to. Uh, always a great atmosphere down there, and um, no, the boys are really confident going into that one as well. Yeah, yeah.